think I'm close to finding out what happened here. I could use your help again if you're interested. I want to cast a spell on the source of the power beam. I think it'll tell me who removed the enchantment and released the vortices into the tower. I don't know exactly what'll happen though, so I'd like you here in case things go wrong. Okay, let's see. Abak Destine Cal Mentor. Ah, oh dear. I must have miscast the spell. I can't seem to move. Uh, I think I'm stuck in the power beam. I think I'll be released if you can disrupt the source of the power beam. Actually, I've already got an idea about how you could do that. If we were to recreate the ritual that created the power beam, that would disrupt it and release me. Take these runes. Use the fire rune on a red vortex and the air rune on a grey one. If I'm right, you'll see something happen. by using them on the chairs in the library. What's Zanmaran got you working on now? Enemies of the Order must taste the flames of our wrath. I thought your Order perfected attack spells decades ago. Isn't Surge the theoretical maximum? It's not about power. I'm looking at ways to make the spells bypass defenses. Can't be done. Ozakan proved you've got to have line of effect. I know. It's one of Zamoran's impossible problems. I meant to try to solve it, to learn why it can't be solved. That's what I can't work out. I can't see what's wrong with my solution. Let me see. May? You're bypassing line of effect by angling the spell through a second you play and using runes of law. I mean, it's not a complete solution, but the principle is... Do you know what you've got here? What do you mean? I think you might have solved the teleportation problem. That's not funny, May. I'm serious. We should show this to Azris. She spent years trying to crack the problem. She's written volumes on why it can't be done. If this is an elementary mistake, she'll have seen it before. And what if it's not? An elementary mistake. Then she'll take it to the council, and you, my friend, will have a major school of magic named after you.
Did it work? Have you managed to trigger a memory? Amazing. I wish I could have seen it. That could have been the start of the breakthrough that led them to creating the power beam. I think we're on the right track. I've prepared rooms to hold the other six soul fragments. You'll need to use each rune on a vortex of the appropriate color. That's all of them. You should be able to use those rooms to trigger the rest of the memories. The leaders of the four orders use the shrine room to hold meetings. That's the room upstairs with the statues representing the four orders. If you use the rooms containing the soul fragments of the four masters in front of the statues of their orders, I think you should be able to trigger a memory. Zanmaron may knowledge guide you. Do you know what this is about? Strength through chaos, honored friend. I have no idea. I suppose you were in the middle of something. My history of Gilinor. I have almost reached the dawn of the Second Age. Ah, when my lord Zamorak enters the scene. When may the rest of us read this masterwork? When it's ready, my impatient friend. You know that. Strength through wisdom, gentlemen. Do either of you know what this is about? We have no idea. I suspect Azris is keeping us waiting in order to inject some drama into her announcement. She has an announcement. That's what I'm guessing. Ah, here she comes. Balance is power, my fellow wizards. I'm sure you're wondering why I gathered you here. Honestly, my dear, it hadn't occurred to us to ask. Since Guthix guided my Order's founder to the Rune Essence Cave, the Tower has struggled with the problem of transportation. For every rune we make, we must bring Essence here from the mine, through icy wilderness and across pirate-infested seas. Wizards of all our Orders have lost their lives bringing the runes the Tower needs. 
We have long known that teleportation is possible, but have failed to invent a new spell that could connect the tower to the rune essence. My fellow wizards, this document contains the theoretical framework that will allow us to create new teleport spells. Azris, this is amazing! If this is true... Templin, would it work? Yes, I believe it would. It solves both the distance and line of effect problems by routing the movement through a second plane. Of course, we'll need to find an appropriate plane to use. All I have is the seed. I will need each of your help in developing it into a ritual. No one of our orders can do this alone. Even so, what you've shown us here is a major breakthrough that deserves recognition. Whose work is this? It is my own. After a lifetime of searching, Gothic saw fit to grant me the necessary inspiration. You are too modest, Ezris. The gods may inspire us, but the work is our own. Indeed. And there is more work to be done. We should all study this properly, and then reconvene. I will be in my study with my apprentice. Strength through chaos, my fellow wizards! triggering another memory in the shrine room. What? That can't be right. Surely the wizards of the old tower were above such... pettiness. After the meeting in the shrine room, the masters would have gone to their studies to talk to their apprentices. Can you try to trigger another memory there? Strength through chaos, Master. You wanted to see me. Pelaban, whose apprentice are you? And to which order do you belong? I... Master, I am your apprentice, and I belong to the Order of the Red Wizards of Zamorak. Then why did you take your idea to Asnes of the Green Order, rather than coming to me? I thought, May and I thought, that since Azris was the expert on teleportation research... May and you, so both the Green and the Grey Orders saw your idea before I did? I'm sorry, Master, but, but, but it came to nothing anyway. Azris said the idea was a blind alley. Earlier today... Azris presented your idea to the Council as her own work. What? When I looked into it after the meeting, I saw your handiwork in there, and traces of the problem that I set you. You 
have a brilliant and chaotic mind, Caliban the Red. As this has worked on the same problem for so long that her mind has turned to stone, and her apprentice hasn't had an original thought in his life. They stole my idea. No, Caliban. They took your idea. They took it when you handed it to them. How many times have I told you that we do not trust the other orders? This tower became great precisely because the four orders are in conflict with one another. We of all the orders should remember that. What are you going to do? What am I going to do about Azris taking your idea? Nothing. You missed your chance to have your name attached to this. I put hands over your head for the rest of your career, spurring you on to greatness. Perhaps then, Zamorak will make something of you. What I'm going to do is complete your work. Your solution requires a second plane of existence for the travel to pass through. I mean to find such a plane. If I can do that, then the Red Wizards will take some credit for the ritual, even if, thanks to you, it is not the full credit we deserve. Go, now! Think about how you can redeem yourself in Zamorak's eyes. I need privacy for my meditation. Yes, Master. As a Kornax, Keeper of the Key to the Abyss, hear me. By the Staff of Armadil, on which Zamorak impaled the Empty Lord, I charge you to appear. Who calls me from the Infernal Vestibule? to trigger a memory in one of the studies. A demon? I knew that some of the Red Wizards were demonologists, but I had no idea there was a demon involved in the spell that created the power beam. Of course. That makes a lot of sense. Teleport spells need to move the Traveler through a second plane of existence in order to bypass obstacles. The teleport spells in the standard spellbook use a plane called the Abyss. It's dangerous and chaotic, but that's not normally a problem because you're only there for a split second. The old wizard's ritual created a link to the Abyss which teleport spells could then use. That's what the power beam is. All our teleport spells use the power beam as an anchor. Something modern day wizards have never understood though, is how the connection to the Abyss was made in the first place. That must be what the Red Master wanted from the Demon. The key to the Abyss would have been the last thing they needed to create the Power Beam. People are never going to drop that, are they? Yes, I talked to the Cage Demon in the Wizard's Tower. 
Eleron taught me that you can't trust demons, but that doesn't mean you can't ever learn from them. You just need to be careful. The Blue Order of the Old Tower forbade any contact with demons, though. I don't imagine the Blue Master would have been pleased if she found out the Red Master had summoned a demon. After he completed the ritual, the Red Master would have needed to distribute it to the other Orders. I would guess that he did that by meeting the Four Apprentices in the library. See if you can trigger another memory in the library. I think you'll need all four apprentices and the Red Master. There have to be limits. There are things mortals can do, but some things should be left to the gods. And who decides what gets left to the gods, Perry, in your order? <laughs> we all have to examine our consciences. With this power, we could end hunger, end disease, end war, unite the world. My conscience would be fine with that. Who governs this new world, May? Your order. Master? Strength through chaos, fellow wizards. It's good to hear a healthy argument coming from the library. We were talking about what we could do once we had the Rune Essence teleport spell. And what we should and shouldn't do. Then you'll be pleased to know that you will soon be able to act out your moral dilemmas for real. You've completed the spell, Master. Indeed, I have completed the ritual that Azris the Green presented to the Council. I have made a copy for each of you to take to your Master. The ritual requires eight participants who must stand in a specific pattern. Please stress to your masters that the ritual must be performed exactly as described. Any deviation could be extremely dangerous. We can commence as soon as we're ready. I'll see you in the spellcasting chamber.
All we need to know now is how the wizards were arranged in the ritual. If we could find fragments of the documents the wizards wrote the ritual on, we could piece together what we need. You should search the ruins. See if you can find any parts of the ritual documents. The pieces are likely to be in the studies in the library. You should search the ruins. See if you can find any parts of the ritual. Surely this can't be real. I thought the wizards of the other tower were noble seekers after the deep truths of the universe. First we learn about their bickering in academic politics, and now this. If this is real, there was a plot to destroy the old tower from the inside. That's true. But that doesn't prove anything. 
Any of the old wizards could have enchanted a book against decay. The only wizard who fits is the Red Apprentice Caliban. The wizard he said was unwittingly helping him must have been made. You should search the ruins. See if you can find any parts of the rich. That's it! Using the information in these fragments, you should be able to work out where each of the wizards stood during the ritual. You'll need to read the fragments and work out how the wizards were arranged, then put the runes on the floor of this room to trigger the memory. Worked, thank you. The memory is starting. I want to see this. Where's Zanmaron? It's not like him to be late. Maybe he's. What? Never mind. Straight through chaos, ladies and gentlemen. Are we prepared? We are prepared. Once the ritual begins, we must all keep our places in the circle. If anyone leaves, there could be disastrous consequences. Senventior Destiny Renesset! Ava! Salaka! Nimporto! What's that? Please concentrate, Perian. Saparanti! Marudo! Palmento! No, no, no! I can see something! Behind Wizard Zamoron! It's a demon! Please! The ritual must be performed exactly as written! Selventior Destine Morenko! May! Can't you see it? It's safe, Perian. I studied the ritual. It uses demonic power, but it's safe! You knew! Demonic power is never safe! We have to stop! I'm sure the demonic influence is minor. The core of the ritual is still Wizard Azris's green magic. Green magic? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters! I was there when Caliban made his breakthrough. This is his work! Azris, is this true? It should have been mine. idea it was. We must complete the ritual. No, Zamaron, it does matter. If I had known this entire ritual was based on red magic, I would never have agreed to take part. It's worth it. With this power, we could build a perfect world and disease and war. And you think that justifies this? I cannot take part in this ritual. Come, Perian. No! If you leave the circle, we can't contain it! The Red Master was hit by the full force of the Power Beam. No wonder that started a fire that... Wait, it's happening again! Get down!
Hello again, adventurer. What can I do for you? You are right to come to me. I have experience dealing with that sort of magical coma, so I should be able to bring her round. Oh, did I slip up? Did I let on that I know more than I should? Almost as if I planned this whole sequence of events, and my plan is so close to completion that I'm becoming careless about what I say. She was my apprentice, and she has done exactly what I taught her. She's a born grey wizard, clever but naive. I just had to give her an interesting hook, and she'd go wherever her curiosity led her. Oh, my diary. I was wondering where that got to. For revenge, adventurer, slow burning, passed down through generations, dish best served cold revenge. Two of the ritual participants survived the destruction of the first tower, Perrien the Blue and Caliban the Red. Perrien founded the second tower and blamed the first tower's destruction on red wizards. Caliban went into hiding and took an apprentice, who in turn took an apprentice, beginning a secret order of elite red wizards. I am the secret heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire, and today I bring the vengeance of Zamorak against the wizard's tower. It's too late for that, adventurer. I have no quarrel with you. Leave now, or be caught up in the tower's destruction. of the betrayed souls of the great old tower. Behold the bloody foundation of the new tower, rising to destroy it! Master, what's going on? My dear apprentice, you are fulfilling the purpose for which I trained you. Your wide-eyed search for truth has led you exactly where I wanted. Don't worry, you won't have to contain that power for long. The soul fragments will tear you apart, and the explosion will level the tower. Adventurer! You have no right to interfere! Leave him alone! So, you've learned to channel that energy. Enjoy it while you can. Any moment now, it'll overwhelm you. Stop talking. I'm trying to concentrate. Adventurer, I think... I think someone wants to talk to you. Fascinating. If I understand this correctly, I am one of several personality fragments possessing an unwilling host body. I assume this is an effect of Zamaron's ritual being performed improperly. Temrin the Grey. So you've retained some degree of consciousness. As soon as this situation is unstable, adventurer, I recommend you draw your personality fragment out of the host body. In my case, a cosmic room should make a suitable receptacle. You will need to type your actions so that the room being used matches the color of the cycle. It is a 
But there are seven more. It's all I can do to keep them contained. I'll let them speak through me one by one. My pipe organ. I always dreamed of the tower having an organ. Is this real? Archmage Perian! You built this tower! Built it on the bodies of the Red Order! Now you'll play a part in its destruction! Archmage! What, what are you talking about? Underground, but you founded a secret order to seek vengeance. This is that vengeance. Hold on to that body. Any moment now, you will destroy the tower. Enemies of the order must taste the flames of our wrath. I don't care what some other me did, and I don't want to destroy any tower. Adventurer, you say you can get me out of here. Do it. Destroy the new one! What? I am Eleron the Red, heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire. I am the vengeance of Sanmaron and Caliban, who you betrayed! Sanmaron and Caliban were my friends, and you are nothing like them, you evil little man. But then get me out of here before I do any more harm. Band, I, I still think of the Never! Only Zamorak grants us the creativity to have truly original ideas! Really? And what original ideas have you had with them? As far as I can tell, you're more in destroying other people. Adventurer, get me out of here. Now look what's happened. 
disembodied soul fragments possessing some slip of a girl. Lord Sanmaron! Who are you? And why should I care? I am the heir to the sacred tradition of the Star of Fire. The Blue Wizards betrayed you, but we have worked in secret for a hundred years to bring them down! Worked in secret for a hundred years? Self-important tradition of the magic stick? You're But, Master, I'm doing this for you! I've had enough of this! You, adventurer! Get me out of here! I command it! Look at the tower they built. It might not have as broad a foundation as the other one, but it's reached just as high. Such a pity someone would try to destroy it. Call me out, adventurer. Use the last room. We're free, but I think I can see a more fitting host for us than these rooms, don't you? No! So, here we are, false red wizard. Your apprentice contained us for the height of this tower. Let's see how long you... Overwhelm me, then! Let me explode with the fury of Zamorak! With my death, the tower will fall! Oh, I don't think so. Let's see where this teleportation can go. No! Don't! Don't make me teleport! This is one time I'll let you use demonic knowledge, Zamorak. To the abyss! No! To the abyss, my fellow wizards. To the abyss! He's gone. I can't believe he was using me like that. He mentored me for ten years. How could I not have seen it? I'm shaken, but I'll recover. If you hadn't been here, though, I... I couldn't have contained that energy for much longer. I... think that's it. We found out who released the Vortices, and we stopped him. That's what we set out to do. I've just had the soul fragments of eight powerful wizards inhabiting me. I nearly exploded. And then I found out the man I most trusted had been lying to me for the last ten years. Please forgive me if I'm not at my most cheerful. Yes, that was interesting. Thanks for helping with that. And we saw the ritual used to create the power beam. I need to write that down before I forget it. It could open up new lines of alternative teleportation research. Adventurer, I want to go away and think about this, but thanks for your help. I hope we can work together again in future. Not now. I'm trying to concentrate on a very difficult spell. Did I summon it, do you mean? Certainly not. Although, I am the only wizard in this tower with the expertise to guard and study it. It's been here longer than anyone remembers. I dare say some foolish wizard summoned it while meddling with forces they did not fully understand. Every time it's destroyed, it reappears on the same spot. 
So we built a containment ward around it and left it there. So, the tower still stands. And I may be trapped here for another hundred years. I can wait. Return when you have half-mastered magic and prayer. And you may even interest me. You there! Stop that! Speaking to the demon is strictly forbidden! Oh there, thanks for stopping. So, can I fix you up with one of these wicked hoods?
my, my, my beads. Where are my beads? A wizard grey sag next door decided he didn't like me for some reason, so he, he, he enlisted an army of imps. The imps stole all sorts of things. Most of them were uh, things I don't really care about, like um, um, eggs, balls of wool, uh, uh, things like that. Uh, but they stole my magic beads. There was a red one, a, 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 a yellow one, a, a, a black one, and a, a, a white one. The imps will have spread them all over the kingdom by now. Could you get my beads back for me?
uh, uh, how are you doing uh, finding my beads? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Keep them here and I'll, I'll check what they really are my beads before I give you your reward. Uh, I don't like it. It's an, 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 an amulet of accuracy. 